say your name and spell it for me. My name is Victor Fernandez, V-I-C-T-O-R-F-E-R-N-A-N-D-E-Z. Mr. Fernandez, why was the referendum important to you and why are you here today? The referendum is important to me in a myriad of ways. First of all, it represents public, uh, school safety, funding for the arts, um, mental health support for our schools, teacher raises. I support a family of five and I was counting on that to do better for my family. The issue is not charters versus public. The issue is that voters explicitly voted for ballot language which supported public schools. And now this is unconstitutionally and undemocratically being denied to the voters of Palm Beach County. 72% of which, 380,000 voted for this, Republicans and Democrats alike. And so in, a, in many, many ways, this is a serious issue and it sets a dangerous precedent for democracy because to deny the will of voters is not democratic. And I come from a communist country. I come from an oppressive system. And I came to America and I'm, I'm giving my whole self to this country and to do better for, uh, for my own family and for the children with whom I work and for politicians to retroactively deny what voters expressively, expressively voted on and their will, it's not okay. It's not constitutional. It's not democratic. Anything you want to say about us not going anywhere or you teachers not going anywhere as far as this fight is concerned? I, I, I hope that the union, I hope that the superintendent, I hope that the school board fights this. And as a teacher and as a single citizen, I will do my part. And I've been doing my part on Facebook and on Twitter and with my social circles, and I'm here today, and as an, as an active citizen, I will do my part to be, in, to, to be a part of an active democracy. But I certainly hope that the, the, the powerful members of our community continue this fight because they have so much leverage in how this plays out, and I hope that this continues, and I hope it plays out well for teachers. I'm one of 20,000 teachers in Palm Beach County Schools um, who, who, who are counting on this support, not only to help our students, but to better our own personal lives and to better our own uh, homes and, and families and our own prospects financially. And so, again, as I said earlier, it's not a charter versus public issue. It's a specific ballot language issue which, which voters specifically indicated their support was for public schools. So to deny this to voters is, again, unconstitutional and, un and undemocratic.